From the TIA portal project view, expand the CPU and traces listings in the project tree. Double click add new trace and double click the new trace to open it. When the new trace opens, define the tag to run the trace of. We selected the count value for this example and set it to record every 100 cycles. We now need to define how we would like to trigger the trace. We will set the trace to trigger on a tag for this example. We now define the tag to trigger on, system on for the example. When configuration is complete, we must install the trace to the CPU. Click the icon to install the trace. And confirm with yes. The trace has been installed and the system is now online. Start the trace by clicking the button in the menu bar. For the example, we will use the on-screen HMI to trigger the trace and change the values. Note the status is waiting for the trigger. The trace has been triggered and the status is now recording. The recording begins with the initial count of 20 and steps down as the count value decreases. When the count is reset, the trace records a change. You can deactivate the trace by clicking the icon. The new trace function has been configured, activated, and tested.